Repeat after me. A sculpture, a sculpture is something you can see. Is something you can see. This is my first year at Freedom. I was a classroom teacher for 13 years, so I was able to build relationships quickly with those children because I saw them every single day. Now, being the art teacher, I only see them once a week, so I make sure every week that we do some sort of icebreaker. We have a common greeting. I call them my amazing art students. They call me their amazing art teacher. Make a spiral. You roll it up. Yeah, you roll it. You can roll it around a crayon, around your finger. Today we're going to be building a paper sculpture. Their sculpture is going to be individualized about their life. They're going to read a glyph, and according to that glyph, they're going to make a yellow tab for every cat they have, or pink fringe if they like tacos. So they create the sculpture, and then we get to walk around and read each other's sculptures so I can learn about their life outside of school. So it opens up that communication between the students and it allows me insight into their life outside of the classroom. A school community starts with um, one relationship at a time. Um, we, um, as administration, um, always um, encourage our teachers to um, get to know your kids, um, not only academically, but on a personal level. What state did you go to? We create activities to where the kids get to express themselves so we learn their personalities. Um, then, of course, we dig into their data so we know them academically, and we blend those two to be able to encourage and push our kids to excel and be the best they can. I think when you show an interest in a child or a student that goes beyond the classroom, that they know that you really care. And kids need to know that people care about them. They need to know that they're in a safe environment at school. They need to know that they can come talk to their teachers about anything, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. We all need to be here to support each other. If you do not have a positive relationship with your students, you're not going to have a positive experience in the classroom. They need to feel safe. They need to feel cared for. They need to know that you care for them. Is the color you're talking about a lighter value than the darkest blue? Yes. Relationships generate a variety of responses in all human beings. Um, and it's no different between a teacher and a student. When relationships are formed, they're very foundational. Um, so a relationship, um, you build trust, you build open communication, and with open communication, both the adult and the student have the comfort level of expressing how they truly feel. Arts are a crucial part of education. In this classroom, we explore science with color mixing. We use measurement for math. We do reading, we read artworks, which when they notice details in their artworks, they can translate that information over, or that learning into pulling details out of reading. You just roll it like this if you love French Thanks. Paper and pencil is not everyone's strongest venue to show that knowledge. But through the arts, we're able to see the child have so much more. And then when they see that success and understand a certain concept, we see the natural transition back into the classroom. And the kid has a natural success. And they have the attitude of, oh, I got this. And we see it play over in their academics and grades. I love this. This is very creative. I hope that this year leads my students to have a greater appreciation for art, to have more self-confidence in the products and projects that they complete. I just want to instill a love of learning, a love of art, and a love of school. I love school, that's why I became a teacher. So I hope that they enjoy class. I hope that they're able to share the things that they learn in here with their family and use it outside in the real world. I want them to be successful in all areas. Art is just a small part of that. But if they're successful here, then that gives them that positivity that they need to end the school year with. And I hope they're excited to come back the following year.